Yo, what is up, guys? It's your boy, Lord Gangs, here coming at you with a little bit of a discussion video. Today, we're going to be talking about if Gene Yuan is worth summoning for, if you should summon for him, or the people, the four stars, that are on his banner. Um, and obviously, uh, we're, we're just going to start off real hot here. If you're going to be summoning on the Gene Yuan, Gene Yuan banner, you're most likely going to be trying to get Gene Yuan. Um, if you're not trying to get Gene Yuan, then in that case, you're probably not gonna summon on his banner, right? So let's let's just talk about the five star Jing Yuan himself a little bit here. Um, he is a very high damaged lightning AoE erudition character. Um, and when I say high damage, I mean that especially as you start building him and get synergies with him, um, he can easily do as much damage as like Sile can, which is a single target damage character. But this guy does it with AoE. Um, now. That being said, if you are a free to play player and you pulled on Sile's banner, and you know, unless you got extremely lucky, like I did, um, or you know you just didn't have to pity that hard, right? Like let's let's say you you pitied, you lost a 50-50, and then you had to pity again. Um, that feels really bad. You're probably uh, on that famine seller jade lifestyle right now. So in that case, you're probably looking to skip Jing Wan banner or. Maybe you just don't like Jing Yuan's aesthetic, right? Um, in that case, you're probably looking to summon uh, a little bit later down the line. And if you are skipping Jing Yuan's banner, right? You don't want Jing Yuan. Um, in that case, then you're probably going to be summoning for the next one, which is going to be Silver Wolf. Um, Silver Wolf is a... Uh, I'm not going to go over her skills because she's not coming out right now. I'll do that when she starts coming out. If you guys want to look at the skills right now, as far as like uh, kind of leagues for like early access stuff, uh, they will be in the description below if you care. Uh, if not, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go over like like a small thing that you might summon Silver Wolf for. Uh, she's a great debuff character um, that especially scales well with Sile. So if you summon Sile, you will probably be wanting Silver Wolf on your team just because of how well those two kind of click together. Um, now, the Wolf is is a debuff character, so she can kind of go with you know any any kind of big carry, right? Um, but if you did pull for Sile and you're looking to skip the Jingyuan banner, the Civil Wolf banner is definitely going to be screaming your name. That being said, maybe you also didn't get the other healer, right? Let's say you didn't get uh, Bailu, you only have Natasha. So for your second, uh, your second team of Forgotten Halls, you don't have another healer, and you're and you're just like you're in this like limbo kind of. In that case, you might be wanting to wait to summon for Lucha. Now, again, this is mostly for like free to play stuff. If you're going to drop a little bit of money, you're probably going to summon a little bit here, summon a little bit there. Um, you know, see see what you can get, depending on if you're a whale, a dolphin, whatever. Um, and again, if you pulled for Sile, the biggest bang, like bang for your book would be Silver Wolf. And then the next biggest, I think, would be Lucha out of these three. Um, just because of like Jing Yuan is a very strong carry. So if you if you did get lucky with the Sile banner and you want to pull for Jing Yuan, you can exactly do that. And then if you're also pulling for Civil Wolf and Lucha, which is kind of, you know, getting into that, like, oh, you're uh, you're going to be a spender kind of thing, right? Or maybe you're just incredibly lucky. Who knows? Then in that case, uh, you can you can kind of play around with, with how you do it there. But if you do get Sile and you're looking to skip the Jing Yuan banner, Civil Wolf, I think, would be the next bang for your buck just because of how well Civil Wolves can synergize. If you did not get uh, Bailu and, you, and you're needing another healer for your second team that you're running up, in that case, Lucha is, is going to be insurmountable. The biggest thing about Bailu and like Natasha I hear about is that there's there's not a really big power gap, which is a good thing. Like especially for like free to play players that you know, like or anyone that got unlucky and get and then didn't get Bailu. So, you know, there's not that big of a, a out like a power creep, right? But with Lucha, that is massive. This guy is insane. Gross. I'm not gonna go over him. If you wanna see his skills, boom, description below. Um, but he is Wow. In comparison to the other two. Don't skip that guy. That's crazy. That's just that's just my two cents. If you're gonna skip someone, let it be Jing Yuan. If you don't have if you didn't pull for Sile, you're gonna need a carry. So, like in that case, I highly recommend the Jing Yuan banner. However, if you're just wanting to save up your 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 Stellar Jades and then pull for Civil Wolf and Lucia. 
both of those characters kind of fit into a lot of comps. You can just kind of place them as you need because the wolf is a debuffer. Yes, she goes very well with her natural element, which is quantum, Sile, right? Um, however, you don't just have to run that. You can just slot her in as you need as well. And she will do great in that team comp. Same thing with Lucia. Lucia, he is an imaginary healer. He exists, I, I, I assure you. <laughs> but I, anyway, he's great. Don't skip Lucha. That's my like top point. Okay, if you're gonna skip anyone, don't don't let it be Lucha. Um, and that's that's like talking about the like the five stars, right? I'm pretty sure that's about every scenario I can go over to kind of give you like a good cadence of like whether or not pulling for Jing One's a good idea. I'll go through the bullet point points again real quick. If you got like with Sile and you just want another carry, Jing One's really good. If you got like with Sile and you're a free to play player, save for Civil Wolf. Great, because then you might also have some some more to pull for Lucha, which is going to be insurmountable for you. It's going to be huge power spike, insane. If you're a spender, do what you want as is well within your budget, right? Um, that being said, it is a game. Maybe you pull a little bit here, maybe you pull a little bit there, just see what you get. You ain't got to just pull up like a hundred and something pulls on the same banner. That's not how it works. Sometimes you just want to pull a little bit. You're like, ah, okay, I didn't get the character. That's okay. I'll wait till the next one. That's fine. Um. But if you are pulling for the Gene One banner, there's some added bonus here. The four stars. Now the four stars, well, these are, are going to change, right? The four stars are going to change from the, uh, the the Silver Wolf and Lucia. They're going to have their own. I don't know who they're going to be right now. We know Yukong's com uh, coming somewhere, but we're not going to talk about her. We're just going to talk about the four stars. They're guaranteed to be on the Gene One banner, uh, as as far as you know, we know. So it's going to be Su Sheng, March seventh, and Ting Yuan. Now, regardless if you got Sile or you're just going to get Jing Yuan as a carry, Ting Yuan makes this banner kind of, kind of big value because she is a humongous big buffer. Great. Not as big as Branya. Don't get me wrong. Even though Branya's getting, you know, whatever. Doesn't matter. Ting, Ting Yuan, awesome. Great to have on your team. Just to kind of like buff up okay? you make a hyper carry team, especially with like Silver Wolf coming in too. That's huge. Awesome. You, again, you don't have to you know summon all the way to for Genie One. Uh you can just summon a little bit if you get if you get team if you get you want, easy. Ting one, boom, done. You're done with it. Um that being said, you do have very big bonus with her. Uh like man. She is a buffer, but she she also she's a, she's a lightning uh buffer as well so like even kind of more going with like a full lighting team something like that if you, if you want uh Jing Yuan and you got Bailey or something that's really cool looking looking at like you know like all these skills again if you guys want to go over these in detail I will put them in the description below for you as well all the four stars I'm going to go over but very big value I think here for either carry either Sile or Jing Yuan or even if you're not going to go for either one and you you know got Dong Hung you got Serval maybe you got Hook easy she has a lot of value kind of the way silver wolf does so if you so if you are going to pull on this banner it's assured that if you get t1 that's like guaranteed value almost it's insane also you get the march 7th island now uh scrolling down through here right we'll, we'll just we'll just kind of go go over some islands of hers so so the first one every time march 7th ultimate freeze the target she regenerates energy that's okay like it Makes it where she can just kind of get more more ultimates per ultimate if uh, you know you, she you could contact freeze in, and then uh, online two upon entering battle grants a shield uh, of twenty four percent to March seventh or no no, no uh, uh, to to the uh, ally with the lowest HP value lasting for three turns. That's really huge. That just means that uh, you kind of just start with a with a protective shield on you know like whoever your squishy is. That's kind of cool. Island three is the same thing as everyone's. Four, the talent counter uh, effect can be triggered one more time in each turn. The damage dealt by the by the counter increases by the amount uh, equal to thirty percent of March's defense. Uh, that just makes it where she does a little bit more DPS. That's not super huge, even though that does add up over the course of a fight. Um, it's it's kind of whatever. It's not like the best one here. And then you know as you keep going up, and then uh, ally and six uh, allies under the protection of the shield granted by the skill restore HP up to 4% of their max HP plus 106 at the beginning of each turn. Now that that right there, if you end up getting March 7th, like sixth Eilon, running like a, 
a, a, a protective like preservation and a healer kind of become redundant after a while um especially if you're gonna like start leveling up your character and start building with relics you don't really need all that protection you can run more hyper carry comps or you can just cut the healer out all, all together if you have something like march 7 6 island um and and kind of just go with this kind of bigger full shield build if you want but she will also have a lot of defense with her relics as well if you are building her could be some definite um value march 7th is pretty good she has a lot of good synergies especially if you're gonna go if you already have clara or something that is huge that duo right there monumental easy so just real quick king one goes with just about any any carry comp in the world march 7th has some selective um you know bonuses and then goes very well with something like clara and then we're gonna go with uh, uh su shang here Sue shang for anyone that doesn't know she's a four star that has the damage that rivals five stars she is a destruction hunt character right boom destruction hunt uh very high single target damage and if you didn't go for sealy maybe you went for a light cone she is a monumental carry at that point that's it's gross but that being said she, ha she has a she has a lot of very good single target damage you can put in if you guys want to check out the kit in the description as you already know um but that kind of goes with the thing if you skip Sile's manner and you need another carry other than Jing Yuan for a second team or maybe you just want a like like another dps or something Su Shang can be that for you and it's and just like you know with, with other scenarios her hell pairs very well with both silver wolf if you are going to summon for her which i recommend and thing you want if you summon on this manner as well it's great great value overall i think the biggest takeaways from this banner if you're deciding whether or not to pull jing Wan can be skipped um you know especially if you're a free-to-play player or something like that i'd say just skip until probably silver wolf if you rolled on sealy if you didn't roll on sealy Civil Wolf fits into a lot more situations than I think um Jing Yuan will, so take that as you will. And then Lucha, I wouldn't skip at all. I I, I think if if you're gonna skip Lucha, maybe you bit off more more than you could chew between the first two banners of Sile and then Jing Yuan, and then didn't wait for the like you know maybe you you know did whatever for this the Civil Wolf banner, and then now you don't have anything for, for Lucha. Don't skip Lucha. That's that's my if if you learn nothing else in this video, don't skip that guy. That's crazy. But this is a Jing Wan video. I'm gonna summon from Jing Wan for a multitude of reasons. I've went over, I've reacted to all of his trailers that's come out in the story playthrough that, that, I've, that I've been doing. It's every time I react with that guy, I'm like, oh, damn, I love him. It's so great. His voice actor too, peak. Um, but more than that, this entire kit looks awesome to me. It's great. I love the whole like lightning god aesthetic. And he's gonna be, you know, the, the only other carry that we're gonna get for a while. And my second team, my second team needs a carry. Um as as much you know, like I've bought the battle pass and like the like the daily spinner thing. I don't have any plans to spin big on like like any of these banners coming up. But I do want to try for the characters if I can. So, you know, take that with what you will. If you're a free to play player, I've already went over those scenarios. And uh, if you are planning on skipping Jing Wan Banner or summoning from him, and I didn't like kind of catch any of the scenarios that you're in or thinking about, let me know in the comments below because I'm always interested to see, you know, like what people think, if they're gonna if they're gonna be skipping a character because of one reason or another, or they're just summoning him because fuck it, you got some jades. <laughs> uh, either way, guys, as always, if you guys enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Until next time, thank you all for watching. Peace.